can you can you tell me your name? Yosef. Yosef. Nice to meeting you. I talked to you the other day. I know you said you've been working for since four o'clock in the morning, and I got you cornered up down here. Wanted to ask you some question. Obviously, you told me that you converted this song. You were telling me right now there was an Egyptian gentleman that had uh, 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 a lot of. Um, um, basically, he, he, he inspired you, you know, to to do this. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, he was like a like a hard Egyptian, you know, really religious guy, you know. So I converted on uh, on Ramadan. So how, was, how long ago? Uh, when I was 18. 18 years. How old are you now? I'm 24. Nice. I'm about to be 25 this, uh, this yes, July. Okay. And uh, so, like, during Ramadan, he was just like, uh, you know, the last 10 days, or and I'll be tired, I'll be sleeping in. He dragged me out of bed. Oh, it's time You're to pray. You're kidding me. No, no, I'm not. How, how did you meet this guy, though? Uh, he was a friend of my aunt's. Okay. And uh, he just asked me one day, and I was like, I'm interested to figure, like, I, I was interested because I was learning about it in school, and I asked, hey, could I just come, tag along one day? Nice. And then when I came, he's like, oh, you're Muslim now. <laughs> he was an older jump. Yeah, yeah. And I, didn't, I didn't know anything about Islam. So, like, I was just like, you know, like, uh, you know, jumping into ice cold water? Boom, I'm Muslim now, you know, like... It was, it was cool. So, um, after basically you you hang, tag along with him for a day, what happened after that? And then obviously, I'm sure something else happened to, to get you to converse for real, you know? Yeah, no, it's just uh, after, it's kind of like jumping into ice pool, you know, like, uh, you know, most converts are eased into it, you know, slowly they yeah, yeah, research. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't really get to do that, you know, like, he just like... Uh, brought me there one day uh, you're Muslim now I'm gonna teach you the hard way how I was taught you know like he was taught and so he you know woke me up in the middle of the night you know like it's time to pray you know like he taught me how to pray you know he pray right beside me show me all the steps and like uh, you know like uh, what we did right now yes he, he they thought away like that huh yeah. in the middle of the night in the middle of the night were you staying with him? Were you staying over his house or what? No. That, so how would he? How would he come? He comes to your house? I live down the street from. Oh, the you're street. kidding me! He would, uh, in the middle of in the like middle of the night, ring my doorbell, drag me to the mosque. Were you living with your parents? Yeah. Oh, uh, he, he, he didn't care. No. I, apparently, I wasn't in their hair, so it's, it works out for them and him. You know. That's a funny story, man. Um, so, um, uh, so tell me a little bit more about this, this, this wild story. What, what else? Now, I, 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 I want to know that exactly. So after when he was doing, you know, waking you up in the middle of the night and basically telling you, you know, to get up and pray. And then, uh, so did you start, was he explaining Islam to you to also the, uh, the five pillars and, and, and the Quran oh, yeah, and all force, that stuff? He would force me to fast. You know, like, uh, he would watch me like a hawk, you know, like, mm -hmm. i try to sneak a little snack here and there, you know, like, i try to, like, sneak away, you know, puff on a, puff on this, you know. What is that, by the way? Uh, it's just an electronic cigarette. Okay. And he would, uh, you know, take it from me, throw it away. Uh, <laughs> you would, should throw it, that's not good for you, but guy. And he would <laughs> take it and throw it away, or if I had, he caught me with food in my hand, smacking on my hand, you know, like, it's like my first day, and he's like, you're fasting. Welcome, you know, like welcome to being Muslim. And that was almost seven, eight years ago. Huh? Yeah, and I, like I, like I fell, I fell in love with it. You know, I fell in love with the, the culture, the people, and I just like I just stuck with it. <clears throat> Amazing. Do you did you uh, uh, when you're praying? Are you praying in what? In Arabic? Or are you praying in English? English. You're praying in English. Yeah, because I, I don't understand Arabic yet. <laughs> Uh, but I, my wife is Egyptian, so inshallah, you know, I'll, I'll learn. <clears throat> uh, how many years later after, the, what, did you met your wife while you were uh, Muslim or, or before Muslim. that? You, so after, after when this guy was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I get, that, I get asked that a lot. Did you convert for your wife? Yeah, well, that was the question I wanted to ask, but I didn't want to put it like that, but obviously not. No, because a lot of people, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, a lot of people do that. Now. But I know, I know, I see. You know, 
But you know what? Even if they do it in heart, I see most of them. You know, they really, really fall in love with the with the religion. Also, you know, yeah, no, it, it, maybe at the beginning they they are kind of, but after they say you you can't. I mean, you know what? What you witness obviously tonight and every every night as far as that away goes the the, the prayers. It, 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 you you will fall in love with it. I mean, it's just as simple as that. Like what you were explaining to me just right now. You know, a few yeah. minutes ago that that you just fall in love with it. I, I get you know, like there is one other thing that exp like uh, brought more love out of, for Islam for me is uh, the like when I went to Dubai because my wife's father works for yeah. IBM in Dubai. Uh, I went with my wife to go visit her family over there and uh, mosques every twenty feet. Exactly. Mosque. I dance uh, every morning. I, I fell in love with that. You know, every time when I want to go to the mosque, I wear my toe. I go to the mosque. I would pray every every prayer, you know, I, I'm trying to get onto that, but like uh, waking up at 4.30 in the morning, every every morning, is, it, it, I, it's hard to pray every prayer for me. It's completely different compared to the way we live here, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, yes, I was in Mecca also just like two years ago, and, and it's absolutely, it's, 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 it's fascinating how... You know, like you said, every uh, there's a mosque in every corner. How people just completely behave differently, you know? Exactly. Like uh, no one goes hungry over there at all. Like if if you're hungry over there, like yeah. there's there's something wrong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like people will, like hand you food. Like here's the food. Yeah, exactly. Like, all right, thanks. Especially in this month, <laughs> and they always they do, but especially in this month, it is. It's, it's really it's a religion of giving, you know. In every angle that you look at it, I mean. I just uh, I find I, I'm, I'm more comfortable around, my people. you know, like uh, when I'm around uh, uh, other people, like uh, work colleagues or like um, other Americans. You know, I don't feel that same, uh, you know, like humanity. You know, like I feel like. Uh, I feel like uh, you're white, black, you know, like yeah, uh, exactly. politics, you know, like they put everything else in front of them, you know, like it's not, it's not that you're human, I'm human, you're trying to live life, I'm trying to live life, you know, yeah. that's it. And I understand, like Muslims get that, you know, and I, I like that. There's no color in Islam, buddy. No, I don't no, care no. what color you are. It's I, I, I like that. Yeah, no, yeah like absolutely. That. That's the way it's supposed to be. It should be, you know, regardless of how you look at it, uh, you know, uh, God, Allah, uh, told us that in the Quran. I mean, you know, there, there's, and, and plus, unfortunately, every time you turn around now in, in, in the media and everywhere, is just there's so much of the hatred. It, it's just really. Yeah, there's so much hatred because it's a good religion. And, no, like, people are just jealous. Exactly. That's what it's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it just coming down here, you know, bowing down, prostrating, and, 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 and you know, and, and I mean, I'm not, and in and, and, and the Quran, there's no contradiction either, you know what I'm saying? Most of the people, like, I just did an interview today, I was telling you, this is my second one, you know, <laughs> actually. So, I, I mean, the, the, uh, the brother was, was telling me, Harold, you know, uh, uh, and Harakat, two of them, you know. So they basically said that it was just a contradiction in the, in the, uh, uh, in the book that it just simply didn't, you know, in the Bible, uh, that it just never made any sense to them, you know. No, because it's written by men. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's no author in the Quran, you know that. And if like, you look at and like uh, what confuses me most about Christianity, because like uh, my family grew up Christianity and like Catholic. And I have a few Jew Jews right, in, my, sure. in my in my family. Yep. And but like what confuses me about Christian, there's Baptist, you know, there's you know, there's so many fractions of Christianity. You know, like you don't like you ask somebody who's Christian, you're like, oh, you you Baptist? They'll be they they act offended. Like I'm not Baptist. You know, like, I don't know. There's so many fractions. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, unfortunately. Between uh, Muslims, there's only two. You, either yeah. you're Shia or yeah, Sunni. Or Sunni, exactly. Yeah, that's it. And the majority of us, obviously, are Sunni, 85% on uh, Pakistan, not Pakistan. Iran. Uh, so, Iran. yeah, Iran and Iraq. Uh, and, and there's a little bit more, you know, uh, uh, spread out and, and, and through Middle East, but the majority of it is right there. Exactly. You know, and. Uh, 
<clears throat> but they do have influence, you know, all, all, all across. But no, I'm a, a, a hardcore Sunni, the son of the prophet, the way of the prophet. I, I personally don't go one inch either way. You know, every, everything that that I have learned his way, that's what I want to follow. So, and, and it's so funny because, like, to me, between me and like Sunni and Shia, the only thing that they're fighting over is who that we're supposed to take over after the prophet. All right. Right, right. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why? Like, <clears throat> well, one of the other things also, as far as Abu Bakr, Omar, and Osman goes, they don't have respect for them. They don't have respect for Aisha, you know, and they badmouth them, which those are the main issues that Abu is... Abu Bakr uh, was the rightful one to take after... Absolutely. It's kind of... See, <clears throat> what people are... Ali, uh, Ali's a good person. Uh, I, I, listen, nobody can take away from Ali as far as what he did for, for Islam and, 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 and all his battles, you know, on one-on-one. -on -one. Have you seen the message? <laughs> uh, I, I, I love that movie. Yeah. But but you know what you need to watch is Omar bin Khattab. I don't know if you saw that or not. That's the best out oh, of I all of them. That. that So if you go down there, it's, it's Omar bin Khattab series. I will send it to you. It's like about 30 episodes. So it's just mind blowing, and and they spent a lot of money in that that movie. And also, when when I watched the message, it also made me more even more proud to be Muslim. You know, like if I was lived back then, I'd be fighting too. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, what about? Let me ask something. As far as your parents goes, uh, what do they think about uh, Islam? Or, or, or you know, I mean, I mean, you've been a Muslim for a long time now. What, what do they say? Uh, well. I have a very country family. Sure, of course. Sure. Like, so, it's yeah. awkward at family gatherings, yeah. The, really? <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's awkward. But, 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 I mean, I'm sure, you know, your mom and your dad, to a certain degree, probably know about Islam by now, or, or not really, you don't... You... It's kind of like they know, but it's kind of like... Uh... Really? They don't ask you about how is this religion, you know, when you no. pray? I mean, do you pray in front of them and stuff? Have you in the past? Uh... Are you I'm five actually, time prayers? No, I'm actually kind of like social anxiety, anxiety. So like, uh, I I like to pr like only time when I actually feel 100 percent 100 percent comfortable is when I'm in a mosque, nice. uh, surrounded by Muslims, or in an uh, Arab country when I live like where I'm so like surrounded by Muslims. I yeah. pray in the street if I have to, but like when you're yeah, around your parents. Yeah. Around my parents or just around anybody okay. in general, but outside of a mosque, I just pray to myself or pray by my car in secret. Okay. Now I don't pray in front of do you is it is it do you think that is it still because of sort of kind of Islamophobe but kind kind of uh, think. Uh, yeah. Maybe as far as as a whole goes, you know, I'm not just talking about your mom and your daddy, but you know, when you get together with the cousins and. And aunts and uncles and everybody else. As you said, you got a big family and from country too. So that that could sort of kind of because of, most of it's because of media anyway. You know, Fox TV and the rest of them. That's their unfortunately education. Yeah, it, it's kind of funny. Uh, any white person that shoots up a uh, you know like <laughs> school, you know, they're lone wolves. You know, oh, oh, they're terrorists. Yeah, you know? exactly. And they come in all shapes and forms. All colors. You you see that little pantry right up there, right up there, right out there. Yeah. So that little pantry right there is run by Igna Relief, by my friend brother Khalid. You know, forty thousand people has been getting food from that little place in one year. Almost over three hundred thousand tons of food just in Hillsborough County. So think about it. So every Saturday you come down here, you see there are cars that basically are just circle around. He gives them food. And and that's what he does. Uh, uh, Igna Relief does it all across the United States. You know? So <clears throat> what what I'm saying is, unfortunately, it's really sad that you know people don't see the beauty of that. Because like the funny thing is, like like the thing about not knowing. Because I'll I'll be honest. When, growing up, I was a little brainwashed. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Like. Uh, most of every 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 morning like every, like once a year like there's documentaries 9-11 9-11 it's kind of exactly. like shoved in our yeah, faces exactly. and, and like the same thing about German Nazis you know why are we still playing Nazi Germany like stuff yeah you know, exactly like, okay it's history yeah. what they do you know it happened it's over so now every time when somebody American Americans don't really get out of the country that much sad but it's true 
we don't like we don't get out of the country much. So whenever we meet a German person, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, Nazi. You know, that's not nice. You know, like they had nothing to do with that. You know, <laughs> you know, and the same thing with mu Muslims. You know, it's it, not knowing. It's not. It, it's uneducated. Yeah. You know, we're uh, Americans are un like uneducated. Like, yeah. You know, like yeah. more like yeah. if you were to get educated more, like uh, be a more you know friendly side, and I would like that. I just want to kind of bring that up also because you remember I told you I'm from Afghanistan. You know, originally, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> you know where the capital of Aryan was? Mm. Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. The rich 3000 BC Aryana is the original name of Afghanistan before Khurasan and all that and then Afghanistan. So the capital of Aryan, that is they call you know white is it was Afghanistan, India also Iran and that whole entire area. So what's really sad when I, the reason I brought that up is if you talking about the so-called Aryan that went to Europe, you know, as came directly from our descendant. 100% I'll send you the, yeah. you know so you know and 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 looking at it as a whole is why even be so hateful toward anyone while you're and the, that doesn't make any sense to me because <clears throat> they were like like for example Christians worship Jesus right yes Jesus is from where <laughs> and I always tell him that, buddy. Exactly. Because if he's not from Europe, they're so just simply pissed off, you know. <laughs> and they always try to push John, Paul, and Luke, and King James on us. While I'm trying to figure out what are they got to do with Middle East, man. You know, I mean, Jesus, peace be upon him, was born in the Middle East. He never... You know, he's, he's, he, uh, Aramaic was his language, and he never ever speak any uh, kind of uh, Greek. You know that that. And the thing that makes me upset is because like uh, like different fractions. And the thing that I don't understand, like there's a white Christian church, a black Christian church, uh, <laughs> uh, then there's a Spanish Christian church. Yeah. And they don't pray together. They're yeah. segregated. So you know, and that's not that's not right. Yeah. You know, if everybody yeah. lives segregated, yeah. you don't mingle with other people. You you won't get to know other people and then not knowing creates fear fear creates hate well, Allah said that I cr created you guys, you know, different tribes so you can go and meet each other. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how it would have been so uh, weird if we all would have ate the same food, the same everything. But now you go to this one place, you know, they eat different, this other place. So that's why we're completely different and then getting to know each other. But if you're, unfortunately, you know, I've been living here for over 40 years now, you know, in the U.S., uh, coming, coming from Afghanistan. And the sad part of it is that... The level of hypocrisy and, you know, even at that time was just like that because in those days we were Iranian mother ifs, you know, and because that happened. So, and then, and then now we're just, uh, you know, somebody else's MF, unfortunately. And, and the reality of it is, like you said, is because of the ignorance and, and because of not being educated, you know. And, For, uh, like, in not knowing creates fear, you know, like... And I told people this before, like, our race, like we're racist, and it, they, uh, like, for example, one lady said, and she didn't know that I was Muslim, she said, Muslims, you know, I can't trust them as far as I can throw them. I'm like, you're eating with a Muslim right now, I'm right beside you. <laughs> what did she say? She, she, was like, she white? She's like, well, you're very trustworthy. Uh -huh. Because like, you got blonde hair? Yeah, I, I <laughs> you gotta say it's because of my hair. hair. Why, yeah, you know? is it because of my hair? Yeah, I was, like if I was wearing a toe yeah. you know, and a scarf, maybe yeah. maybe she would yeah. have ate with me. But yeah. you know, it's it's the you know like if like what changed me is like because like when I was growing up, I you know I was brainwashed, and then I met an Egyptian guy, was kind of like eh, what you know I'll try it. Because I was learning about it at school, I needed to write an essay about it, you know, whatever, you know, like I need to, I need to go to a mosque and I need to write and I need to, you know, because submit a report because there's a project that I was going to in school. <laughs> so, Egyptian guy brings me, and next thing I know, I'm Muslim, so, yeah, uh, you know. It's amazing. I, yeah, so it, it was fun and I've been Muslim ever since. When, when you used to come in the middle of the night, I mean, just bang your door like that, your parents never say anything? Nope. And the last ten days of my my first Ramadan were I'm sorry to say, but they were hell. They they were they, it was hell because like like it was my first it was my first time fasting, 
like I had no prior knowledge of anything, you know, and and you know, like I was being woke up in the middle of the night, dragged out <laughs> of my sleeping bag. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm so like tired, you know. And he's like, like, uh, and he would, like he would slap me on the back. Come on, time to pray, and it's time to eat, you know, whatever. Would he take you to your house, his house, or, or, or over your house, as far as the sorry goes? He, he would uh, take me from my house to the mosque and then back to my house. Uh, but at the end, ten days, I there was no escape. I was there wow. <laughs> every day, you know, day in day out. And how you said how old were you were when that happened? Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Do you still have have connection with them or no? Uh, I haven't talked to him in years. Still here, still Muslim. <laughs> His, because like, if something's been beat into your head really hard, it's kind of hard to break away from it. So that's why a, a few of the brothers here were like, uh, we don't really get a lot of converts here. Uh, that's not true. I don't know who told you. That I mean, we get so many of them. No, it's ridiculous. No, I, 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 like, I guess what they said was like, because like I'm white. White. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, I, yeah, we, a lot of them are Hispanic, but there's a, whites also. You know, there's a lot of women are are white. No, 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 and that's what they told me. But they said that it's because like, like I'm for a convert. Like a lot of converts don't stay until the very end. A lot of converts don't come every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. You know, That's a lot true. of Muslims don't like stay until the next prayer and then pray. You know, yeah. like but if it's beaten into you. Yeah. That's what separates a convert that was eased into it and the difference between a convert that was beaten into you know? Like, That's hilarious. Uh, uh, yeah, because you stayed all the way till 20 rakat like I did. That, that, that was all of them, you know, two, hour, two hours and 15 minutes that I away. I also did another set afterwards. Yeah, you did another set afterwards. I saw you. <clears throat> well, uh, I'm sure some people probably going to ask, why are you smoking that stuff, you know? Because I'm sure a lot of people are going to uh, see this. Actually, uh, I quit cigarettes. Oh, okay. You tried to get get away from that to that? Yeah, that, I, I understand. Okay, I got you. And, and I see uh, you got the Tesla shirt on. Uh, what's going on with that? Uh, they're free. They're free, yeah, I see. From, from work. But uh, you, you work for, for uh, uh, you, you told me that you base, you put pa Tesla panels, right? Uh, I wired them. You wired them. That is, and all across, uh, I mean, you're here in Florida, and then you told me you're going Melbourne, to Melbourne, and, and then Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, and then, and then uh, Maryland. Uh, Maryland. Wow, but you must be good at what you I, do. Yeah, and then you must they be good. also sometimes ship me to California. Yeah. And then I might go to Houston. You got a smart boss, buddy. That guy is just unbelievable. Sending spaceships up there like that and bringing it he down is ridiculous. Shot one off, uh, this morning. You're in, kidding me. In Melbourne. A, a lot of the guys were talking about it. Like, oh, yeah, it's like a giant fireball. Like, no, no, duh. You know, it's a, it's a rocket, of course. <laughs> I know one of them went up just a little while ago. I know there was another one that it was going up, so that must have... We're very fortunate around the corner from here, if we were really exactly good. in December, they were shooting them off like it was like fireworks. Wow. You know? Like one after another, every weekend. I, I mean, the guy, he's so amazing to beat NASA on his own game coming out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, seriously. And then, and then, I mean, you never ever seen anybody bringing the, the, the spaceship back down uh, the way that he literally does, you know, bring, just, it just comes right back down, you know, because most of the time when, uh, uh, you know, most of the, the NASA stuff, when they were going in, they were just, if they were landing, it was just like later on, but then the his stuff goes and then just comes right back down, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah it's just the self landing so, soft landing. Yeah, uh, but uh, a few of them blow up. So. Yeah, no, I know. Well, I mean, still, you know, he's he's trying to perfect it. No, but uh, there there are some big things to come that uh, the company is talking about. The brain thing that he's working on, you know, that if you have issues and problems with your with your hand, the wiring, the brain, that's what's kind of really what crazy stuff that he's yeah. talking about. Let's just hope he doesn't go too deep in that kind of stuff. The you know, the reason why he wants to get to Mars. Like because I some of the, like some of the employees think that he's an alien. I'm sorry, you know. Like, <laughs> but he's a cool guy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, <clears throat> brother, I just want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Remember, I told you tomorrow we have the uh, convert iftar. 
here at the Islamic Society of Tampa Bay. Uh, and I, we would love to have you down here. There's probably going to be at least about 150, 160 converts down here. Oh, I'm tomorrow. here every day. Yeah. <laughs> That is just, it's amazing to Remember. see that. Yeah, I saw, no, exactly. No, I've been seeing you every, uh, uh, you know, every day, and I'm kind of surprised that you stay here all no, all night. Yeah, whenever I go to a new, like a new area, I just go to the mosque. Uh, every Friday, on Ramadan, every day. Wow. The, the, so, but but your home, main, main place that you're at is where? Uh, like, like where your wife is and everything, you know, Raleigh. family. Where? Raleigh. North Carolina? Oh, in Raleigh, okay, so, yeah. It's and there's a, a base over there, too. Base for the, uh, for Tesla? Tesla? Yeah, oh, Tesla nice. Solar. It's Tesla. a, it's a new, it's a just starting. Yeah. But in, a, like, a year of <coughs> Honestly, I don't know why they put Tesla Solar roofs up north, like, in, Mel like, uh, in Maryland and stuff, because, like, most of the, they get, like, a lot of snow and a lot of rain. Yeah. It's like 45 yeah. degrees. It should be here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it should be in Florida. Like Florida, Houston, Louisiana, yeah. maybe. You know, exactly. Like, yeah. Those are some places where you want to put them, but like Ohio, Detroit, I don't know. Well, North Carolina snows too down there. Not that much. Like Not that much? Really? Yeah, yeah, I lived in Virginia for 20 years. Uh, well, I'm originally North from like, Ohio, but I lived a lot in like the summer of Michigan. Oh, it was just oh. above Detroit, so... Yeah, I, I knew some cold weathers. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, is there anything else you want to tell? Let's say if, if this audience wanna want you know uh, wanna know exactly uh, how they should go about you know, you know if they're kind of confused, they don't know if they want to convert or if they want to know more about Islam. How do you think they should go about it? Well, I mean, not as hardcore well, as you're talking about, man. Well, if I'm speaking directly to them, I would tell them. Which one would you rather have? Research it yourself? Or have an old, angry Egyptian man beat it into you like he did me? I don't like, it's up to you. <laughs> but I'm still here, you know. Yeah, but uh, as far as the religion itself goes, it makes sense to you. Obviously, it, sh it did, you know. Uh, it, it, it did. Either, either it, it didn't and I kept on, you know, like being dragged back to the mosque by him, but... Uh, Thank God, I'm to that. It made sense, you know. Yeah. Love it. You, you, Honestly, if I had to choose again, it, like if, if God was to take me back in time and uh, put me in the exact moment, if I was to go with Him, or you know, forget the project, I'm not going to do it. I'm get an F on it. I'll do it again. Well, Every there time. you go. You answered your question, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving the opportunity. Now you need to go home and you've been up since 4 a.m. Yeah, I'm tired, man. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I got to pray <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.